Hey Coach Sean Castro here. I'm so excited that you're joining me as I share my simple sales process that creates instant connection with whoever is sitting in front of you. Now, there's a few things that I've really learned over the years as I've done hundreds of consultations with various types of prospects at my women's only gym. And there's a lot of commonalities that you're going to see from this system. It's gonna help you close more sales and connect instantly and just feel better during the sales process so you don't feel grimy and like you're forcing something on them. You know, first of all, we need qualified prospects in front of us, but even with someone that's just minimally qualified, they barely expressed interest in some way, you wanna start first with part one, which is gonna be developing instant rapport. So, for example, you must do your research. Now, in my marketing process, I actually have all of my prospects apply to meet with me. So. I have people that are highly qualified walking the door, but also I know a lot about them, about their struggles, about their frustrations, their goals, where they're trying to go. And I know a lot of that already just from my market research, but because they specifically have told me in their application, they submit it to me. So we'll talk more on marketing later, but first step is knowing them and understanding them, okay? <clears throat> After that, we wanna align. And now there's a lot of different ways uh, in traditional sales talk, it's matching and mirroring, and it totally works. And you can do it with the the words you use, okay, the rate of speech you use, the the tone of uh, uh, phrases and and words that you use as well. But more importantly, how you use your body language as well. So, if for example someone walks in the door, I am going to probably start off the conversation by you know saying something that they're going, they're going to agree to because let's be honest, you know it may be. Uh, it may sound kind of silly, but really, if you think about it, have you ever really honestly wanted to be around someone that you consistently disagreed with openly or in the back of your mind? You know, if someone is arguing against, uh, you know, something political or religious or, or some other type of opinion, and, it, you know, you're thinking something else that this guy's crazy or you're openly telling them that they're wrong, do you really want to be around that person? Are you attracted to that person more? Absolutely not. So what we want to do, because a lot of prospects already have their guard up through the roof, we want to make sure that they agree with us, that we're on the same page because like attracts alike. So when someone walks in the door, I'm, I'll, let's say their name is Jane, I might say, hey Jane, uh, or I might say, Jane, right? Perfect. And they're going to say yes, other than the back of the mind or openly shake their hand. Uh, the, welcome to our gym. Did you have you didn't have any fault, trouble finding us? Obviously, right? And or say some type of factual statement that they're going to agree with. Okay, um, it's only going to benefit you. It's only going to benefit them because yes, you can say uh, I feel awkward making them agree with me a lot, but realistically, you're going to put yourself in the best position to serve them. And realistically, that's the reason why they're sitting in front of you is because you want to do business with them. And you want to help them. So if you don't do all the right steps along the way and you don't communicate and connect well with them, you're gonna find yourself not serving them. And they're gonna walk out of the door, not only did you lose a sale, but you lost an opportunity to serve someone and fulfill your purpose in business, okay? So aligning with them. Another way you can do that is with how you sit, right? So when you sit down and you talk numbers or you know your system, whatever the science is or process is behind how you're gonna help them, you want to match mirror the body position. If they're leaning in really intent, you know, leaning up on the table towards you, you should be doing the same exact thing. If they're sitting back with their arms crossed, you darn well better be matching them because like attracts alike. If you're sitting exactly like someone is, they're go you're gonna find that you're gonna be more open and receptive to that person going both ways. Okay, so use the rate of speech, right? How fast you're talking, how loud you're speaking. Uh, common words that they may say over and over again, use those as well. It's only gonna help you connect with them, okay? Last but not least, we wanna discover, we wanna take a genuine interest in what the heck they have to say. So for a second, we have to really take you know, our heads and, and put back uh, you know, what we're thinking about, of if this person is gonna sign up, if they're the best qualified person, for you know, in, in instances in your sales process or when you're getting to know them, actually try to get to know them because that's authenticity and honestly, it works, right? If you take a general interest in the person sitting in front of you, I'll tell you what, they're gonna notice that, they're gonna feel that, because this is connection-based selling. This isn't uh, you know, strategic word and tricky language-based selling and voodoo. This is just how to genuinely connect with the person in front of you. 
to put yourself in the best position to help them. So start with these three key elements of connection-based selling to uh, essentially build your sales process from, the, from a strong, authentic foundation. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you some of the key ways to discover really what their needs are and how you can demonstrate value to them very quickly as well.